Okay, I got the uh, 1977 Honda CT70 out for a little test drive. It's been a while since I've looked at it. It's, uh, I think my last video on this was like in the summer and it's now winter. So, um, got it running right now. I got a new carburetor on it. I'm not confident that that was the only problem because um, still getting a bit of bogging, but it could be just adjusting the carburetor which I'm going to uh, attempt to do today. Other than that, it started up pretty good. Seems to rev up good. Hard to say until I put some load on it. So I noticed uh, what it was is that as soon as I put load on it, basically uh, myself and gave it a bit of uh, power, it would uh, bog down. So let's see what happens here. I might give it a try up on these little trails. Is just a gravel road at the end of this road here, out in uh, outside of Maple Ridge, where I live. Um, popular spot for people on dirt bikes. But I'll just stick into the gravel roads and uh, trying it out, see what happens. I'm um, back to the truck. Uh, still not running right. Gonna uh, take the uh, needle out of the curb here and move it up a notch see if that makes a difference in other words i'm going to lean it out so i'm not sure let's see what happens here Okay, so I've got the uh, needle out. So I'm going to move the uh, little clip all the way to the top. It's already on the uh, second notch from the top. Um, the book says it's supposed to be on the third notch, but I found that it was bogging quite a bit. So I'm going to put up the top notch and see what happens here. So I noticed when I took my spark plug off that um, it was black. So it's not running too hot. Seems to me like it's got too much fuel. It was doing the same thing with the original carburetor. And I'm assuming my old carburetor was just worn out letting gas through too much gas because no matter where I change my needle it didn't make a difference so I'm going to do the same thing here so I moved it all the way up to the number one slot we'll see what happens here now the fun part is putting this one on. Okay, got it in. Let's go put it back on the carburetor. Okay, I got it back on. As you can tell, if this doesn't work, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's my condenser points, but they're both new. But maybe faulty. Coil is the original coil. I didn't change it. I did change though the, uh, the wiring on the um, 
firing plate, like the uh, con like not the condensers, but the uh, the windings for the uh, lights and for the uh, coil. I did change those, so maybe they're no good. But anyway, let's give this a try. Okay, we're yeah. back to square one here. Take it apart, the carburetor out again, and this time I'll move the needle down. I'll put it back to where it's supposed to be, number three, and uh, go from there. See what happens. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, go to the extreme. So it should be on the third notch from the top. I'm going to put it on the fourth. See what happens. So it's basically, I should have lots of fuel. I should have to um, adjust my settings because I should be way too much fuel. But uh, we'll see. Like I said, I'm trying to go one extreme to the other. If, uh, like I said earlier, this doesn't work here. It's a brand new carburetor. If that doesn't work, then I think I'm going to have to look at maybe the, the spark. I don't know, maybe it's not getting a good spark. We'll see. Let's do this. 